Goblin yeah. mode. Yep. John Bolton is about to go goblin mode. On Drumpf. Yeah. On, on Donald J. Drumpf. <laughs> I'm psyched, man. What, yeah. the f- what, what world are we living in? I don't know. I don't know. It was strange <laughs> to see that take off from a, from a Twitter meme. All of yes. a sudden it's being used by all the different brands are getting involved. It really kind of exploded. It yeah. really was. I mean, we can make fun of it. It really was the year of going goblin mode, though. You yeah, know? we're going goblin bo- mode on those Tim bits. There we go. That's a, that's on Boxing Tim, Day, you can Tim Hortons do that. hire me. Yeah, I can do these posts. <laughs> yeah, goblin mode. I don't know. Have you ever gone goblin mode on anything? Do you think what does that even really mean? It's like it. It's an unapologetic displaying uh, traits of greed or what? What is it? What is that exactly? Have I you? assume it's it's just kind of being a little freak. Yeah. I don't know. It it seems like a subjective term. You could, Anything could be goblin yeah, mode. Yeah, it I'm means like goblin a, mode on my Thanksgiving dinner. It's like a Rorschach test. It's just kind of like you can yeah. bring whatever you want to it, whatever I think the meaning right. should be. The, tw- the, the tweet that started it was from that account Juniper, Juniper uh, who, was, right. who was also behind the Snickers dick vein. <laughs> like yes. They, they took the Snickers dick vein out. I believe like, an official <laughs> NYT correspondent. Um, yeah, right. opinion editor <laughs> that account is so funny yeah. um, that person is so funny i mean give, but, yeah, the, they, give the new york times credit for for expanding their horizons with that big that was a big hire for them yes yeah they um they photoshopped the headline to say julia fox while dating kanye like had to stop dating kanye because she was tired of him going goblin mode and like a bunch of people shared it and that just kicked off of a wave of people using that term which is just so so funny and absurd that that becomes the word of the year. <laughs> That's crazy. It really is. I don't know. Uh, don't ask me to explain it. And the whole Kanye thing really kind of like escalated quite a lot. It did. Since the, well, since the last like, time we were talking. I mean, I, I was listening to our last episode the other day, like at least the intro, and we're like, you're all canceled for listening to Kanye. Yeah. And like, I think later that day or the next day, was when he went on Alex Jones. Yeah, it was kind of a joke at first, but now it's like, no, seriously, it's like, though. Oh, yeah, stop listening to him. <laughs> this guy's... Don't give him any more. I mean, not that you... As we talked about with Tom Williams on uh, an episode a couple weeks ago, it's not like they're getting a ton of money from streaming, but like when you're at that level, you're getting some. Stop giving him money. This guy's a fucking psycho. Yeah, well, it's, it's not even like a money thing. You know, it's like I'm, I've always tried to be a proponent of like the separate art from artist person, but like there is a point with any artist, right, where they push past that certain level for you. It's just like, okay, I just can't, not even out of, outside of money, not even giving you money for streaming or anything. It's just like, I can't physically, I don't physically feel comfortable listening to this anymore. You yeah. Know, with this Michael Jackson in the past, there's a huge Michael Jackson fan. Um, there just gets to be a point where it's like, I just can't, I can't listen to this artist without thinking about the horrible, horrible things that they've uh, said and done. And I think for many people, if they weren't at that point by last week, then they should probably be there now after the Alex Jones interview. Although I must say, both with Alex Jones and Tim Pool, and just like a lot of the other you know conservative media that he's been doing the rounds on, it is very interesting how like expertly a lot of these these media people, whether it's Alex Jones or Tim Pool or whoever, have become so adept at using like dog whistles to talk about, you know, anti-Semitism or to racism or uh, homophobia, transphobia, whatever. And they have this kind of like, they've expertly managed to like walk this line between pushing right up to the limit of what you can say before, you know, really having major career consequences and then pulling back from it, you know, whether it's Steven Crowder, Gavin McInnes, even though he's probably gone over that line many times, but it has been like, I don't want to say entertaining, but very interesting to have Kanye going on these programs and just pushing way past that line and just saying the things that a lot of the time people like Alex Jones or Tim Pool might be comfortable suggesting, but just openly saying it. Um, yeah. And coincidentally saying things that like they're, the audiences of these shows I happen to agree with and happen to pick up on because they've carefully cultivated these, these audiences. Um, and so you're seeing like the, 
the level of discomfort that he's causing for these social media influencers and media people who want to have Kanye on their show for the clout and to have the, you know, to have the, the positive benefits in that and then have him come on and just completely, completely blow past whatever these are, these sort of artificial barriers there are to the speech. And a lot of the time having the audiences of these shows be like, Hey, why aren't you, why aren't you agreeing with them? Like that was famous with Tim pool a few days ago um, when Kanye walked out of his, his uh, uh, interview with him because Tim pool like, refused to go all the way with him to blame like the Jews for controlling you know the media or controlling entertainment and Kanye walks out of the interview and I watched back and Tim Pool's live chat is just like what are you doing Tim what is this L L Tim it was just wave <laughs> after wave of hundreds of people getting mad at Tim Pool for not agreeing with him and I can't say I feel too bad for some of these guys I mean this is the audience that they have carefully cultivated over the years um, I mean, it was like tw- as much as Tim Pool is trying to be like the big, uh, the Mister Sensible now, Mister Sensible language uh, liberal. You know, he was he was having dinner with these like neo Nazis and white supremacists like in 2018 when he kind of started to become really popular and courting the alt right. Like all these people were so comfortable courting these alt right movement, and now you see them like twisting and contorting and trying to avoid um, going down this path that <laughs> that Kanye is going. Meanwhile, these big audiences that they've cultivated are like, no, no, we want you to do that when we agree, but it puts them in this really uncomfortable position. And I, I do kind of find it somewhat enjoyable seeing them like squirm uh, as, as, this, as this takes place on their programs. Yeah, there, I, I saw this sentiment on Twitter, but they were, uh, so I, can't, I can't remember who, who it was. And it's not like a totally original idea, but they were remarking on how all of these freaks have tried to have him on. And once he says, like, you know, all of these things, like explicitly blaming the Jews and uh, explicitly saying that Hitler did good things. They're like, well, we don't say it like that exactly. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like they're all trying. They all think like, oh, I can fix him. Like, I can help him walk the line. Yeah. And then he just says it all. And they're like, well, yeah, just Alex bring Jones it back a soft- little bit. Alex Jones is just throwing him softballs, like trying to like help him. Trying to be like, and obviously you don't believe that the Nazis were good. And Kanye's like, no, I do. I do believe that. <laughs> and he's the completely awkward laughter after. God, it's, it's really something. Thank you for listening to this sample of the Insurgents podcast. To hear the rest of this episode and for more bonus content, please subscribe at theinsurgents.substack.com.